Okay, real quick tutorial on how to set up Ghost in Memory for OBS. This is a PP counter, and it also has an unstable rate tracker. So first, go to this page. Obviously, it'll be linked in the description. Uh, you go here to download it. Depending on your operating system, you're going to want to choose one of these four. So this is the x86 version. This is the x64. So you choose one of them, extract the folder, and you'll get something like this. So you open the exe file. It'll open this command prompt thingy. Um, Leave it open. Yeah, make sure you leave it open. And also, you're going to want to open it every time you use Ghost in Memory. So that is that. And then in this static folder, this is all of the applications that exist in Ghost in Memory. You can see previews of each of them by clicking on this link. And just scroll down, and you can see what each of them look like. Personally, I use the old classic one. So I will show you how to add that to OBS. So go back to the original page. Copy this link called localhost, right? Copy link address, go over to OBS and add a new browser source. Call it just pp counter, right? Uh, awesome. And then paste it. And so after the URL, you want to add the name of whatever application. So for me, that would be old classic. I will copy the name by just doing rename control C so that I don't typo. Paste it in there and click OK. And now you can see, let me move this out of the way. So now you can see this is the PP counter. You can go to OSU and just drop it wherever you want. Um, resize it. Oh, crap. That's not how you resize. OK, let me show you. Yeah, so you just drag these little guys at the end. Um, yeah, so you can resize it, put it wherever you want. And so to change the font, let me show you guys. Let me hide this for now. So this is my fresh install that I just downloaded and showed you guys. This is my already edited install, and I'll show you what's different. So go to the old classic folder. Let me do the same thing here. So right again, on the left, this is the fresh install. So go to the CSS folder and click on style.css. So you open this with some text editor. And so the font name is written here, here, and then also down here at the bottom. So that is where you want to change the font name. And the font file is located if we go back and go to the static folder this is where the font file is located so you want to put whatever ttf file of the font that you want put it in this static folder so i will show you that as well so this is my edited version already um this is so i have two of, two of them in here just because i was experimenting but you put whichever font you want there and then we go to my edited css file um you can see let me put them side by side so this is what it looks like. I changed the font family. Um, and then this is the entire file name. And then down here as well, I put the font family name as well. So that is how you do that. And then as you can see, I've opened this again and then go back to my browser as well. Uh, whoa, you can see the difference in font. So again, you can use whatever font you'd like, um, but that is how you do that. And I will, so let me show you the unstable rate tracker as well. So you hide this. So to get the unstable rate tracker, oh god, OBS, hello, hello. <laughs> okay, there we go. Um, so you double click. Okay, so let me show you this. So to edit the URL quickly, you just double click right here, and then you can double click this bit at the end of the URL to highlight it, and then let's do unstable rate. It's the name of the unstable rate tracker. So if I unhide it right here, you can see it doesn't show anything. That's because it only shows when you're actually in a map. But um, yeah, so I will demonstrate that at the end, but just real quick to show you guys how to change the font. Pretty much the same thing as before, but you go to the unstable rate folder. So instead of in the static folder, it is in the depths folder. This is where you put the text file or yeah, the text TTF font <laughs> file. Um, so you put that in there and then you open index.css. And so let me open the unedited one so you know what it should look like for you. So It'll look like this. And then obviously, you change the font name here, here, and then here as well. So three places to change the font, just like before. And uh, yeah, that is that. So let me show you guys. So the unstable rate tracker will show up. There we go. So once you load into a map, it should work. And you can just drag it around wherever. Let me show you this. Um, so yeah, you just drag it around. Obviously, you can drag it to be right on top of your UR bar. We make it a little smaller, maybe. And uh, yeah, that is that. So that's how you set that up. Um, hopefully that was helpful. Again, all the links will be in the description and see you guys next time.